Okay guys, here I am trying for the, about the fifth time to record this video for you guys. I've been trying for about a month. I've had phone problems, which is my number one way of recording videos. I've also had the editor, um, video editor that I was using, um, stop working. And then I downloaded another one, it didn't work. I downloaded another one, it didn't work. And so now I'm trying this one. <laughs> so... We'll see. I have high hopes. I have high hopes for this one. So I just had some moves on here for you. That was a little bitty slight move that I got. Um, thought I would show you guys sort of an unedited version of my videos. Normally if a can doesn't move that much, I typically won't include that in the video. Because the problem is, you know, moving cans it gets kind of boring. You guys watch... If you, if you love telekinesis, then you'll probably get into, you know, watching these cans move and stuff. Because you, I think most of the people that subscribe to me, most of them realize that I'm not faking it or anything. I'm not even sure if it moved that time. Um, this is the interesting thing that I did. I did the Remo Williams finger. You know, if you don't know who Remo, Remo Williams is, you got to check that movie out. But uh, So I'm drilling in with my energy. When I feel a connection, I pull back. And just to see if it would work and uh, it did and so I'll be trying this more in the future to see if I can get it to work. I just thought it'd be something fun to try um, a no hands move attempt that's where I try to not use hand energy but just energy from my third eye really um, to try to merge with the can I stare at the can uh, the concentration open-eyed meditation but I concentrate on feeling the can being pulled toward me like magnetically and that's I just hold that salt intense concentration I don't even think it moved <laughs> like I said not edited just just trying just trying to see if the, if the thing will work I'm trying to hold my hand parallel to the can which is what a a uh, person on here that asked me, I forget who, forgive me if I forget who, it's been a while back, um, asked me the whole try do, and it, it works. It definitely works. It definitely works. Anytime my hand's close to it, it works. So here I am staring at the can again, uh, trying to enter into Samadhi. Now what happens when I stare at a can? Well, a lot of times the can will disappear, parts of it, and I'll start to see its energy either in static energy or the Akashic energy and things I could even like it went deep enough I could have a vision of maybe where the can came from uh, where it was manufactured who held it you know that kind of thing I could start seeing visions connected to it in the astral but I'm trying to stay focused on the physical can concentrating on pulling it toward me either I'm going to get up give up and move or it's going to give up and move one of the two and right now it's just a contest of who's going to give up first. I'm damned and determined that this can's going to move for me. <laughs> so I apologize. Like I said, unedited. Normally I would have cut some of this out completely. I do finally get a pretty decent move out of it, actually. Pretty decent move. There we go. There we go. I just went to Lowe's and we, we got our first major house plant. Uh, got a majestic palm to go uh, under the thermostat in the living room. I'll show it on the video if you guys are interested in it. It's, uh, you know, bringing plant energy into the house is important because there's nature. Nature spirits connected to it. Everything's conscious, especially plants. Plants are massively conscious. So that adds some calm, brings a good energy to the house whenever you have. I love a house, a, a house that's just full of plants. I love it. Mine's not, but I've been in places that are, and it's it's nice. You can just feel the peace all around you. Remember, green is the color of love. It's not red. Red's like anger. <laughs> green is the color of love. It's the heart chakra. Okay, you might think I'm making a ball of energy here. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm just making my fingers tingle. I can't move anything unless I can feel the energy in the hand. And there's so many things you can do when you can feel the energy tingling in your fingers. Like if I'm in a 
in a store and I can't find my wife or my kids or something. I don't know where they're at in the store. I'll hold my left hand down by my side, you know, so I don't walk through the store like a Jedi Knight with my hand out. But I'll hold my hand down by my, down by my side. I separate my fingers and on my left hand's down. So if my pinky tingles, as I'm keeping mine focused on the person I'm trying to find, if my pinky tingles, I know I'm supposed to turn to the left. Thumb tingles, I know I turn to the right. Middle finger tingles, then um, I know it's kind of like straight ahead. So that's the deal. That's the deal. That's how you can sort of divine uh, location of people with once you start feeling energy. So you don't need anything. You don't need um, divining rods and things like that. You can do it all with just with your fingers. You get yes or no answers with tingling in the fingers and you have to fill it out for yourself. Okay, here I had an idea of knocking the lighter over with telekinesis, moving one object into another object. Now, I'm upset because, not really upset, but it was close and I've been trying for a few minutes. <laughs> so here I go again with another attempt. And and I would love to be able to pull the lighter over. I just can't. They don't have that kind of power. But I'm not Trevor Seven. Trevor Seven can do things like that. I, I can't do it. Boom. Touched it. Didn't do anything. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, so I had the idea that I would sort of lean the lighter up on its edge to make it easier to knock over. And I may just be a little bit too excited at this point. Okay, just a little bit, but oh well. So, like and subscribe. You know, come be part of this channel. Let's make telekinesis mainstream. This stuff proves that there's a spiritual dimension and we're not just our brains. This is huge and you can learn to do it yourself. Anyone can and prove to themselves that this is true. Okay, you don't have to believe my videos, but you can learn to do it yourself. Let's spread this knowledge. And yes, I do live in Pensacola, as you can see, but that's Pensacola Opry. I hate Monopoly, but anyway, anyway. Thanks for coming out. If you've stuck to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.